chaos strikes the Circle City. Stop right over there. The year is 1987. That's when an Air Force pilot reported engine problems. He overshoots the runway, safely ejects himself from the plane, and survives. But his aircraft went on clipping a bank rooftop and then crashing directly into the front of the Ramada Inn near the airport. The crash and the fireball that erupted inside the Ramada Inn killed 10 people. Sheila Carson. On that day, RTV6's Derek Thomas traveled to a nearby bungalow home where a 21-year-old Ramada Inn employee sat inside making an important phone call. I'm just calling to tell him a lie. Sheila Carson should have been at work that day, working inside the hotel in the very area that plane struck. But she overslept, waking to the news of the disaster at her workplace. Shock and lucky to be alive because I got a lot of living to do. So that event that happened 30 years ago today, right here, forever changed this site. You can see it's now just an empty parking lot. But that plane crash also changed everything for that 21-year-old you just heard from. So we caught up with Sheila 30 years later. I've lived on this side of town all my life. Sheila Carson is now 51 years old. We met up with her at Western Bolt near the airport, just down the road from the former site of the Ramada Inn, where she's been working since 1989. The day the plane crashed is still ingrained in her memory. Fire. I've seen the plane. I'm seeing the plane on the TV. You know, somebody was looking out for me that day. Sheila knows her life could have easily ended 30 years ago, but she's thankful to be alive today. I wouldn't have my kids. I wouldn't have my granddaughter. My parents would have been lost with, with me being gone. She still thinks of her co-workers who are not as lucky. And it's not a memory she wants to forget because each day she's reminded that she was given a great gift. Just enjoy life while you got it.